Hi everyone and welcome to the Mushroom Den. Now I know the pumpkin season is coming to an end but it's still fall and we're still enjoying everything pumpkin. So I wanted to bring you guys my recipe for this giant pumpkin cinnamon roll. It's low in sugar, it's fat free and it's absolutely amazing. So let's jump right into the recipe. To begin we're going to activate our yeast and for that we need warm water and to that we're going to add some sugar and our yeast. Use a spoon to mix it up so the yeast just doesn't sit on the surface. Then set it aside for about 5 to 10 minutes. Next, in a large mixing bowl, add in some apple sauce, some pumpkin puree, agave syrup, and some full fat coconut milk. Use a whisk to mix everything up to incorporate. Then go ahead and add your yeast. You can see that it's fully activated by the amount of foam that we have on the surface. Then go ahead and start adding your flour. I'll be adding it a little bit at a time. Mixing initially with a wooden spoon. I forgot to add some orange zest earlier so you can go ahead and add that now. Continue to add flour and mix it up with your wooden spoon. When it starts to get challenging to mix the dough with the spoon, you can go ahead and start working with your hand. And just continue to knead the dough and add flour until it's not as sticky. Now make sure to grease the mixing bowl that you're going to let the dough rest in. Otherwise it's going to get all sticky and you'll understand why in a minute. Let the dough rest for an hour and 30 minutes to 2 hours. And while our dough is resting, let's go ahead and prepare our filling. Here I have a date paste, which is just a couple of dates that I blended. And to that I'm going to add some pumpkin puree. Mix everything up. Then go ahead and add some cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, and some vanilla extract. And that's it for our filling. As you can see, our dough has doubled in size but it's very sticky on the bottom. That's why you have to make sure you grease the bowl beforehand. But that's okay, we can work it out by just adding a little bit more flour. Flour your working surface and just continue to knead the dough for a few more minutes. Now the dough should be very easy to work with so you can go ahead and start spreading it with your hands and later on just use a rolling pin to give you the right thickness and shape. Here I'm going for about a quarter of an inch for thickness and try to get as close to a rectangle as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Next we can go ahead and spread our filling. You want to make sure that you put enough and that it reaches every corner. Now let's use a pizza cutter to slice the dough in two and then again slice every part in two in order to get four stripes. Now roll the first stripe horizontally over itself from one edge to the other and that gives us the center roll. Then place this first roll on the edge of the second stripe and roll it together again all the way to the other edge almost like a snowball effect. Repeat this process for the third and fourth stripe until you get one giant roll. And don't worry if it's not perfect as you're rolling it, the final product is going to look good, trust me. Grease a cast iron skillet and gently place your roll in. Let it rest in a warm area again for another 30 minutes. At this point you can go ahead and preheat your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is what it looks like after 30 minutes. Pop this in the oven and bake for 15 minutes to an hour. And while our roll is baking, let's go ahead and prepare our icing. In a mixing bowl, add some coconut cream, some lemon juice, agave syrup, vanilla extract, and some almond milk only if you want liquid icing. If you want it creamier, you can go ahead and skip the almond milk. Then use a whisk to mix everything up and the icing is ready. Our roll is out of the oven and I let it cool down for about 30 minutes. And I don't know about you but I think it's looking gorgeous. Now we can drizzle our icing on top. And my mouth is watering. I have to taste this thing. As you can see it cuts perfectly. This roll is fluffy and super moist. You'll never know there's no oil or butter in it. It's not too sweet, and with the mix of flavor that we did, the pumpkin is not overpowering. Honestly, it just melts in the mouth. Okay, I don't wanna make you salivate any longer. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share this recipe. If you do recreate the recipe, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. 
thank you so much for watching and as always until the next video have a blessed one